I've been sleeping a lot lately, and I've noticed there's been a couple topics that related to that sleep that were not 100% normal, and I thought that I would uh, put it together in a numbered list so that uh, I could talk about them. Number one, I am a very heavy sleeper, my whole family is, and I know everybody has difficulties with the alarm clock, but I think that we are champions and we take it to the next level. Uh, I sleep through all five or six or whatever of my phone alarms regularly. And uh, one example that really puts this into perspective of how bad we are is when my family took a trip up to Boston for college uh, road trips. We you know, all went to sleep normally and uh, in the morning, all the alarms were blaring and our guest, who was our friend, uh, woke up very quickly. He was squeezed in between a few of us on the bed and didn't want to push us out of bed. And uh, according to him, there were you know, four era men snoring like there was no tomorrow. Alarms were blaring for 30 minutes before anyone even stirred. Um, and you know, he was not happy when we did all decide to finally wake up. Uh, we barely made it in time for the tour at the colleges. Number two. I admit that the first thing on the list was quite tame, but I have yet to meet anybody else who does the next sleep thing. Uh, I sleep with half my eyes open, and I did not even know that until way too late in my life. Uh, pirates were trained to sleep with one eye open in order to look for other pirates uh, trying to you know, kill them and steal their booty or something like that. I don't know quite exactly what happened. But basically, I sleep with my eyes in a not quite closed fashion. And it wasn't until a high school bus trip that someone pointed out that I was, you know, weird. Uh, I decided to look into it and my whole family is like this as well. As far as I'm aware, nobody else does this, intentionally or otherwise. Number three, I sleep in a sleeping bag even when I'm not camping. I don't know actually when I started doing this, but I've been using a sleeping bag as one of my layers of my bed uh, blankets for a long time now. The zipper broke on it, uh, so I open it all the way and I use it as a mattress. And the main reason why I do this is because of how cool the blanket feels on my skin. Uh, the material is like nylon or something, and it cools your you know body down a little bit, so it's kind of like an anti-blanket sometimes. I even asked last Christmas for an upgrade on the sleeping bag, because mine was getting really old, and it's basically the gift I used the most from that past year. Number four. There is a cult out there that is trying to spread the, the news of how amazing weighed blankets feel, and I am part of it. It really changed my life for the better, since I got earlier this year. Um, I was thrashing around all the time when I was asleep, and I basically was a, an Apache helicopter when I was asleep. Spun all around, and I've even fallen out of my bed. This has all changed with the weight blanket. No longer do I fall out of my bed, which happened to me when I was in college on a bunk bed, but now I stay put and I fall asleep very easily. Number five, I am a subscriber to the Sleep With Me podcast. This is a show uh, where this guy named Scooter just talks very boringly in a monotone voice and he bores you to sleep. And it's amazing. The shows are about an hour long and I don't think I've actually ever gotten through one whole show. I usually fall asleep by the 30 minute mark. So, give it a shot. Number six. I will often sleep upside down. Normal people sleep with their heads by the headboard. Duh. But not me. There is about a 50% chance I will intentionally orient myself in such a way that my head is where my feet should be, and my feet is where my head should be. And so why do I do this? Well, originally, the Wi-Fi in my house was not able to reach me when I wanted to watch YouTube or play games in my normal sleeping position but I discovered the ability 
to invert myself and stick my hands out in order to get some Wi-Fi to load the internet. We've since gotten a different system in my house, and I can get Wi-Fi anywhere in my room, but the habit still stands, and sometimes I'll find myself upside down in the morning. Number seven. Not everyone has one, but I have a body pillow. And this purchase was more for comfort than for anything like an effort to go to sleep easier. One time, I slept on my friend's floor, and, you know, instead of using um, the couch, which didn't exist, uh, they left me their body pillow for the evening, and it was really a life-changing experience. Um, it so much so that I went to Bed Bath & Beyond the next day and bought my own body pillow, but there was a really big choice that I had to make. I had to choose between getting an anime, you know, waifu uh, pillow cover or a normal one. But, you know, at the time I was at the Bed Bath & Beyond, I saw this super fuzzy UGG brand pillowcase that I ended up buying. Uh, we would later on get an, one of these anime color pillows for my brother. Since then, I've noticed that I sleep with it in a variety of different ways. There's the toothpaste, the koala, the wall, the long, the log, and, and so much more. Uh, it truly is a revolutionary device. And of like all the different things I've talked about today, uh, this is the one I would say you should buy. So with that all being said, there's a very high chance you could find me asleep with my eyes half open, with the sleeping bag, upside down, under a weighted blanket, with a body pillow, and listening to some sort of Sleep With Me podcast. And even with all that said, I probably wouldn't be able to wake up on time. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you later.